55 post-secondary healthcare students arrive after a little over a three-hour ride from Edmonton. They're here at the Cold Lake Healthcare Center, a hospital that serves about 35,000 people in the region. They walk in here and they go, oh my God, this is not what I expected. This is a beautiful hospital. We have everything that any big city hospital has with the exception of we don't have an intensive care unit. So, but we have a CAT scan. We have access to any kind of equipment that you need or diagnostics that you need. We're a stroke center. <laughs> How do you not do that? <laughs> you, you Roberta Salter is one of the registered nurses teaching IV starts today. She embraces the fast pace here and loves diversity. She works in emergency, endoscopy and day surgery in the operating room. For a nurse, your scope of practice, you use everything that you've been taught and more because you're constantly learning more. Two hands like this, okay. don't touch the white button. This hospital is fantastic. I've worked in hospitals across Canada and I have to say the team that is here is its family. Everybody works together. So you do it, this movement. Dr. Perme Swaran, who is teaching suturing today, has a wealth of worldly experience. He practiced in Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, Newfoundland, and Florida before coming to Cold Lake. After Skills Day, the students enjoyed dinner at a local golf course. And I hope when the time comes that you think about us and you take a chance on Cold Lake and you will not be sorry. And I thank you so much for coming. Thunderstorms with heavy rain washed out the golf games planned for after dinner. But it didn't stop the students from having fun and getting to know each other better. It was still raining the next morning for the city tour. But the afternoon before was beautiful and locals were out enjoying the many recreational opportunities here. I find that Cold Lake is a big, beautiful playground. <laughs> I really do. Our lake is absolutely beautiful. So if you like to boat, if you like to camp, if you like to hunt, anything like that, it's here. We have the ski hill in the winter. There's so much to do. And it's this beautiful city. It's growing in leaps and bounds. Housing is affordable. I love this marina. This is kind of selling me on coming here because I love being by the lake. The mayor of Cold Lake, Craig Copeland, was host for the bus tour, which included a drive through the Canadian Forces base here. But you got about 2,300 people work on the base, and it's Canada's uh, largest Air Force base. The average age here is 38, one of the youngest communities in Alberta. Despite the rain, the students really enjoyed the Skills Day weekend and left with a new appreciation for rural health care. I didn't expect like such a small city to have such a, so much resources, so I was really impressed. I absolutely loved it actually. Rural has always been an interest of mine, but I grew up in Vancouver and then I moved to Edmonton, so I've never been exposed to it. And it was really exceptional to learn firsthand from the people that are up here. 